Hi guys, it's Stuart here from Airshow World and um, I'm going to do a new set of tutorials um, this time. I'm going to um, try to explain to you and show you how to set up your own um, radio, um, digital radio via your laptop without having to go out and buy an expensive um, radio. I'm not saying don't buy them. I, I have um, a digital radio and they are absolutely fantastic uh, it saves having to have a computer but if you've got a laptop portable laptop small laptop whatever and you've got a couple of spare um, USB inputs you can have your own digital radio working for a cost of about 10 pounds um, because all you would need um, hardware um, would be two USB TV dongles yes and um, you can get those so cheaply nowadays um, for about five six pounds yes um, you can um, get the more expensive but um, I will put some links as always with my tutorials um, in the description of the video you will see some download links and I'll put a link to uh, some places where you'll be able to get these TV dongles okay so what what do we use to, to make this work well um, there's a program called DSD plus which I'm just highlighting here I'm not going to run it for the moment because I'm going to show you where you have where to download these from okay um, I also use um, a handy program called Unitrunker and that is um, very useful for um, trunked uh, radio systems okay I'll explain more about trunked radio systems as we progress okay so the first protocol is uh, I'm going to show you what you're going to need okay so I've already mentioned you need two TV uh, USB dongles so get those ordered up have a look at my um, description and you'll see where to get them also you need to get hold of um, a download um, it's called Zadig and there it is there I'll show you where to um, download that from what Zadig does let me just I'm not going to install any of this at the moment this is just where I'm going to show you where to get the software downloads from first so get everything together download everything that you need I would suggest that um, you create a folder call them some call it something like um, or a digital radio and put everything in there so it's all in one place okay but basically Zadig it allows you when you first put your USB stick into your uh, computer uh, Windows um, because it's so helpful uh, yeah not um, will automatically try and install the what it thinks is the correct drivers for your TV dongle and what it will do it'll put in um, thinking that it's a TV stick well no we don't want it to be that but Zadig will overwrite all of that and put in the correct driver to be able to make your um, TV dongle work and use the uh, correct frequencies okay so it's a it's a way of putting the drive the correct drivers in okay I hope I've explained that as best as I can um, but in the next tutorial I'll sh show you it running okay so that's Zadig what you will also need um, is something called VB cable and uh, basically what that is that will create a virtual um, audio input so instead of you putting uh, normal if you are putting um, sound into a computer you would uh, put the sound via a, um, a, a cable jack yeah 3.5 millimeter jack straight into say a laptop and that's how you'd get your sound into your computer but you're not getting your sound that way I'm going to get the sound via um, those USB uh, TV sticks 
and this is where um, VB Cable will do this for you. Okay, I will show you the download for it in just a moment. Okay, but let's say download the program, put it into something like I have just here, right, and as I said, call it what you will. But um, maybe uh, digital radio would be a good starting point. Um, <clears throat> you'll need to download DSD Plus that is the digital decoder so it will pick up the um, sound from your USB stick uh, it will go into VB cable VB cable will output it to the DSD plus and DSD plus will hear the strange noises um, and it will then decode that particular um, uh, those sounds and you'll hear the actual instead of um, strange noises you'll hear um, actual voice okay so it's a voice decoder that's DSD okay um, also uh, um, download uh, a program called Unitrunker I use that you will need to know what the voice channel is um, for trunked channels using Unitrunker but Unitrunker will work um, together with DSD plus and um, that will um, automatically automatically list all of the um, f um, all of the channels because base I'm, I'm not going to go into full details about how um, trunked radio systems work at the moment but basically you have a voice control channel and that uh, on that channel that will control lots of other frequencies yes so providing you put that one frequency in to unitrunker the program will work out what all of the other frequencies are okay and so you could have say a frequency of um, let's say um, just I'm going to make up something I don't know 489.760 um, I know that's not a real fr frequency for Unitrunking but if you put that into Unitrunker that would then um, trans it would say okay yeah this is the voice channel and here are all the other um, fr frequency every time it picks up a frequency it would um, automatically send it out to DSD plus and then you will hear the voice that's for using trunked systems okay um, I'm explaining at the moment yes I know it's not the same as seeing it but I will show you in another tutorial how it actually works okay because um, seeing something is a lot better than explaining it so <clears throat> that's Unitrunker uh, let's have a look um, another program that um, you will need is SDR sharp so it's a simple download again I will put the um, download link for it and um, basically when you run that particular program there it will uh, detect your now configured USB uh, TV dongles and that will act just as a radio okay so what you can do to it and um, you can say um, where the um, frequency is you can test the uh, TV dongles to make sure that they are precisely on the correct frequency because the TV dongles um, especially some of the cheaper ones do have a habit of um, what we call drifting and um, they won't be precise on the frequency so for example if you were using an airport frequency of um, say 124.0 um, if you typed in 124.0 it could be slightly um, off um, it may be down as low as 123.95 yes so what you can do via um, SDR sharp 
is confirm that those USB sticks that you have have got the correct what we call drift okay um, sounds complicated at the moment because that's a lot of information that I've just told you without showing you how to do it but don't be daunted because as I said this set of tutorials especially this first one all it is is showing you what you need to download okay so now I'm going to point you in the direction of the um, download links where to get them so step one download what you need okay and uh, I'll bring up a couple of pages here so let's start off on the first one don't forget these download links I have put into the description of this video so this is DSD plus so download um, this one here okay and also download this package here now these two when you they, they will come down as a zip okay now when you extract these make sure that DSD plus and the package make sure that both of those go into the same folder okay so download both of them once you've downloaded them extract them um, to say a folder called I will show you here I, I called it because I've already got DSD there but um, I called it new DSD so I extracted everything into there now if you just run the actual .exe program it would not work because it needs this package as well so what I'm saying is download this and make sure that when you extract it goes into that folder okay then look through all of this and look for DSD plus there we go that's the program running it will not work if you have not put both that package in as well okay let's move along okay I was talking about the um, TV sticks here's just a cheapy cheap and cheerful one so you can get um, better I'd, um, but they do work I can assure you of that but um, possibly a more expensive one would um, work better I don't know I can't confirm that I've just used the uh, cheap and cheerfuls and I've had uh, quite a bit of success with them okay of course the um, uh, as always the big factor is having a good aerial with it of course they don't come with good aerials they're just cheap little things but um, if you're near enough to digital signals it I can show you it will pick them up so as a test you might just want to try a couple of these cheap ones and then at a later date um, invest in something a little bit better okay so now um, I told you VB audio okay you need to download one of th these okay this this is the um, a virtual audio cable and there's a download link down here let's have a look he says there's a download link I know I've seen it so just have a look somewhere for wherever it is sometimes if I can't find it immediately I just do a control F and click on download and uh, that normally finds it for me download okay is that it several things here we go there it is okay um, as always when you as a word of caution when you download bits of software always use caution to make sure that you're downloading from the official um, uh, download and um, because there's several as you know there's several places out there where that says that will say yes this is the download and of course it's not and it puts nasty viruses on your computer so um, I can confirm that this is certainly the correct download right and as always I said it earlier in the description you will see 
a direct download to this page scroll down and click here okay and that will download it for you okay so that's the um, virtual cable let's have a look what else we have I mentioned uni trunker if you want to do trunked um, radio systems you can download uni trunker here um, that will take you to this page here and that's the download okay so there's one other piece of software that you are going to need and I haven't put that one in um, yet but um, SDR shop SDR shop download so have a search for that make sure you get it from the official download let's have a look forums reference so you probably have to I'm just doing this off the hoof here um, there we go I'm sh so it will be here um, wh what I will do though I will um, put a download link for you to save messing around in the uh, description okay so SDR sharp to download okay so that's basically what you're going to need to get this um, system s set up um, don't be daunted by it um, I mean in essence really there's only a few bits of software that you're going to need the Zadig Unitrunker the VB cable and um, DSD plus okay that's really all you need look in the description get those downloaded and then later join me for tutorial number two and we'll take it to the next step thanks for watching really appreciate it and uh, please feel free to uh, leave um, nice comments in the comments page uh, in the comments section of this video um, also lots of other um, tutorials I have at the moment for different aspects of um, listening to radios and um, what have you uh, and also of course um, all the air show and aircraft videos that we have over 400 at the moment so um, please consider subscribing I really appreciate it if you do if you subscribe um, make sure you tick that little box that says get notifications and then you'll know when we have the new videos coming out you'll get a, an email to say new video on air show world okay Thanks a lot. Really appreciate your um, watching and um, we'll catch you for number two very, very soon. Thank you. Bye for now.